I told you guys about how I'm going for Hutch, right? So now what's gonna happen is I need to start doing the packing. I need to get all the stuff that we need for Hutch. Like we got fragrance-free deodorant. We did fragrance-free um, body wash and the face soap. It's like the Dove bar. I'll show you guys everything that I have. So we got like the Dove um, bar soap and I'm just gonna like put it in half and I'm gonna use that as uh, body wash and face wash is just like I don't know what the condition is going to be in those camps and I just want to be prepared for everything that does happen but right now I'm packing all my abayas, my scarves, my under caps um, and like loungewear that I have to like you know wear underneath because obviously like I need to have some pants on and I'm going to be sharing the room with like other women that are going um, we, when we first initially did the Hudj package, me and Ibrahim, we did a double room, um, because we were also going with my brother and sister-in-law. So unfortunately they weren't able to do theirs through America, so they ended up doing it through Pakistan. So we are now sharing the room with other people, like, meaning as in, like, I have to be with other women and Ibrahim's gonna be with, like, other men. So that is the plan. I'm going to try to vlog this Hudge journey as much as I can for you guys. It's going to be really hard and obviously like the whole point of Hudge is for the Ibadah. So you can do the Ibadah, um, you can make your duas for stuff like that. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can and make the vlogs for you guys. But right now I'm going to be doing the packing so stay tuned for that. So I have um, a bias that I got from my mom. I had some of my own and I ended up buying some from Shein. This is the one that my mom gave me and it doesn't fully go down to my feet which is fine because I'm going to be wearing pants anyways but it's so pretty it's this navy blue color right here and it has it's very flare as you can see and there's, it's really pretty it has like work on the sleeve and also like going down the next one that I have is this black abaya I've had this one from before and it has work on the sleeves and going down as well. And this one's just in a plain black. I got this Abaya from Shein. It is a dark green, like forest green color. And it has flare sleeves and it is very simple and plain. I got these and another one that I'm going to show you. I got these mainly for the actual like Hudge days. Because um, my mother-in-law was saying that I should wear something bright colored instead of just black. Because everyone wears black, like all women wear black. So that when Ibrahim does need to find me, um, he'll know exactly like I'm going to be standing out compared to like the other woman. And honestly, I think over there there's a lot of confusion and um, like he doesn't want to be going with the wrong woman, right? So that's why I got something bold. This is also the same thing but in brown. It's the same concept. It's very plain, has a flare sleeves and it was just like a different color other than black. This is one I've had from before. This is also like a plain black one. The only work there is is just like a few around the neckline and then on the sleeve. But it's very simple, like nothing too heavy. This one I got from Shein. And I have this thing where I want to wear white the first time I see the Gaba. So I've never been for Hajj. I've never been for Umrah. I've never been to Saudi. So this is my very first time. It's my very first experience. And I want to make this moment very special for me because it's the first time I'm going, this is the first time I'm going to be experiencing all this. And one of my things is that when I go to the Haram to go see the Kaaba for the very first time, I want to be dressed in all white. I don't want to wear black. I want to do something different and I just wanted to get like that moment in with me wearing white. I don't know. I feel like it would... If I do want to take a picture, which I obviously will, it's my very first time. I know I see everyone's pictures that they post up on social media and I'm like, okay, like this is what I want to do. So I got this from Shein. It's very pretty and it's nothing too dramatic. It is a plain white abaya, but the sleeves are where it's really pretty. It has like this work on it. It's floral and it has like these silver rhinestones. Let me do a close-up for you guys. This is what the sleeve looks like. It has that floral design and it has the rhinestones, the silver rhinestones. 
and I thought this would be really cute and it's just on both sleeves and the entire abaya is plain there's nothing else like no other work on this it also came with a matching hijab like a scarf and it has the same work around the edges just on either side and i did get like other hijabs that i can wear with my abayas because i didn't like the one that comes with it but this one i think is fine because i have hijab cap so it'll stick and i just thought it was really pretty like imagine like me wearing this and then when i put this around like this will be the part that will be showing off so I just think white would look really good and obviously I'm not going to have any makeup on so I feel like it'll just brighten up my face more. Well that's like my theory and my take on it but yeah that was kind of like the thing that I wanted to do the first time I visited the Gaba. So I also did get hijabs from Shein. There was one that I didn't get. Um, this one right here my father-in-law actually brought this from Mecca and these are all all these hijabs right here these are all bamboo materials so they're very breathable they're very airy i'm not gonna feel super hot and i'm also wearing hijab caps which i also ordered from shein so once i wear these i can just drape my hijab regularly like i won't have to like close it and like suffocate myself i've seen a lot of other women do it like that so i thought that would be really great and I did order like a bunch of other stuff that's going to help me stay cool. But I'll show you guys all the stuff that I do get. So if anyone does want to go, you can see like what I'm bringing along. And then what I'll probably do is like once I'm done with my whole Hajj experience and my journey, I'll make a video on like the things that really worked for me, things that didn't work for me, stuff like that. And if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as much as I can. So the hijabs that I got were, I got this color and I'm just going to be mixing and matching with um, the bias that I have. I got a plain black one. I got like this coffee colored brown one. I got the dark green obviously to match with the green abaya that I got. And then I just did three colors for the hijab caps. I did one in brown, one in white, and one in black. And obviously you can reuse them throughout the days depending on like what color you want to put on your hijab with. I'm packing the suitcase right now for Hajj and I showed you guys what I packed for abayas and for hijabs and underscarves and I also did one just for pajamas. I put about six pairs in here, six pairs of pajamas which I can then use like throughout my entire trip including like being in Mina because like obviously I'm not going to be wearing my abaya to sleep so I need to keep um, like proper I guess 
pajamas because like I don't want to make other women feel uncomfortable while we're sharing a room in one camp I think there's like 30 women something like that I could be wrong could be more or less but yeah you're definitely not sharing it with like one or two it's gonna be more than that and then in the other one I just put like undergarments and socks I put four pairs of socks but now that I'm thinking about it I think I might need to put more only because like I'm thinking if I wear one sock every single day for like Mina um and then because you know the whole walking process it's like three pairs already and then if i'm doing it in like medina or like coming back then i think i might put like two more pairs just in case because like i obviously don't want to rewear the same pair i'm just gonna put that in laundry other than that i'm putting aside like clothes that i'm gonna be using for travel like these pants right here let me show you guys i got these from target and i love traveling in them this is what they look like and it has side pockets i got in a size large so it's definitely not like fitted to my size at all it is a bit loose and i actually like that because especially when you're traveling you want something that's breathable and loose and not super fitted as for ibrahim i told him to take out like four of his favorite thobes that he wanted because he does have to wear something other than his aram on the days that he's not gonna be um in his aram like he's not gonna be wearing uh what do you call that the two-piece Ah, 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 is this called Aram? Ah, ah, is it, but isn't that being in a state of Aram? No, but that is called Aram. Okay, so I guess the terminology is for both. Okay, so never mind. Yeah, so that's his Aram. He's obviously not going to be in his Aram the entire time. Um, like the Hajj process is going on or like when we're there in Saudi. So I have, I had him take out four thobes and he's going to be taking like a gray one, two whites and one black. So he can be wearing them because we are flying into Medina first. That is the plan. So he can wear those in Medina. And then when we're traveling from Medina to Mecca, we are taking a train. So obviously you have to wear something for the travel too. I don't know what people wear. I'm not familiar with that. But me, myself, I think I'm just going to wear an abaya. And Brim's going to wear a dob. He said he wants to wear a pan and shirt. But I don't know if he's going to do that. Because... I feel like you're gonna be the only one to wear something like that. Okay, he wants to be different. I also did pack Brahim his own pajamas um, because he's gonna be sharing a room with other men, just like I'm sharing with other women. And I believe I did about like six pairs of shorts and like five, six shirts, same thing, same amount of shirts and t-shirts. I packed about four pairs of socks for Brahim only because um when you're in ihram you cannot wear shoes like anything that covers your feet so he's gonna be wearing sandals he got them off of amazon i can show you the stuff that he got for himself so that's gonna be for like the men and then i'm sharing what i got as like you know for women i can go back over all the stuff that i got one last time as i'm like putting stuff away i did order a bunch of stuff from amazon as you can see here i need them all to come in before i can just put them away we did buy a lot of stuff like the handheld fans we got over the hook the hook thing where you can put on the door because like in mina you're not having your own bathroom you have to share so obviously if you want to change or something you can have those hooks i do have my lululemon it's like a fanny pack so it goes like you can either put it like across your waist or just like put it diagonally i'm going to be using that while we're in medina mecca like obviously i'm not going to be carrying around a purse so i'm going to be using that for like literally the entire trip for mina what i did is i bought a backpack and that's like my only luggage that i'm going to be using So I finished packing my bag and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've packed in so far. So I'm bringing toilet paper with me. I've heard from a lot of people that they don't supply enough or there isn't any at all. So I want to make sure that I have enough. This is my toiletry bag. It just has like my skincare when I'm not in Ihram. Um, the rest of the stuff I'm going to get from Saudi, they have a line called Bees Line. And that's like Hajj and Umrah friendly. Then I have a sleeping mattress right here. This is inflatable and it does deflate really fast too. I got this for Muzdalifah because that's the place that we're going to be spending the night in. And then I brought my Lululemon. This is going to be what I'm going to be using like throughout my entire journey, including Medina, when I'm in Mecca, when I'm going to the Kaaba, and then for Mina. I also put some dry fruit snacks right here because we just need a lot of energy, especially like during those days in Mina and it's going to be super duper hot. 
And then I have a portable charger right here, which I actually need to move to my hand carry because you can't have lithium ion battery stuff in your um, like your luggage. You have to keep this in hand carry. And also this is Liquid IV. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this brand right here. And this is gonna keep me super hydrated because it has like a bunch of electrolytes in it. And I believe this is the lemon lime flavor. Yep, that's what it says. I also got some of uh, Isis uh, wipes. Um, I didn't get wet wipes because I already have diapers. So I thought that would be really nice for me to keep this with me. Um, just in case, you know, I wanted to not use toilet paper or like if they don't have like a peri bottle or something um or like a lota muslim shower whatever you call it i'll have these i also got a first aid kit just in case anything does happen this right here is a fan and it's pretty cool it's handheld so you can obviously put it back or you can you know bring it to the front it has three fan settings this is the highest one and then you just fill this part up with water and then it blows out mist I don't know if you can tell, but there's definitely something coming out. And it's so fine, the mist, that you can't even tell that there's water coming on your face. So there's that. Um, I also got some over-the-door hooks, just in case we need it in Mina, because we're going to be sharing bathrooms, obviously. So I got this for that. I also got a travel adapter, because you know how it is when you go to a different country. Underneath here, these are disposable sheets. So this is, they're gonna give a sleeping bag. So I'm gonna be using these to um, sleep in for Mozellafa. And then once I'm done, I can just throw it away. I don't even have to worry about packing it. Oh, and also underneath all of this is my backpack. This is what I'm gonna be using for Mozellafa, for Arafat, for Mina, like during all three of those days, this is the backpack. This is a Vera Bradley backpack. I actually bought it from Marshalls and it's their large size, I believe. Yeah, this is a large size. I'm not sure uh, what's like the model of it, but it's just a black backpack. I think that's pretty much it for this side. Um, I hope I'm not like overpacking or underpacking. Like I just want to make sure that I have all my necessities and all the stuff that I need with me. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I packed for Ibrahim and this is his suitcase. So I made mine separate and then this is his. So this right here is all of his thobs. Um, I believe it's about six thobs because he's gonna need some from Medina and in Mecca as well because we do have a day and a half in both cities. And then right here it's undergarments and socks. Over here is all of his pajamas. And then in here are travel clothes. Um, I added mine because I didn't have any more of these travel cubes. So I just put it with his. Moving on to this side right here these are the shoes that well not shoes they're sandals these are the sandals that he got um because like when men are in ihram they're not allowed to wear shoes so um he opted for these his dad actually worn these for umrah so he said that they were pretty comfortable and really good and it has like a bit of a platform to it as you can see so he's gonna be using these and he'll just have like his regular shoes with him like because we still have to travel um to like dc first moving on to the other side so we have liquid iv for him um i have my own box he has his own um the fan that i showed you guys we also ordered section cups someone was telling us that it, just in case the doors are tall you might want to bring section cups with you so that's why i have his right there i also added mine to my bag and then also the SPF, you guys have seen this. Um, I just added these two in today. So this is a Kleenex and then this is Huggies. This is like wet wipes or um, they're just wipes. But basically if we don't have like a Muslim shower or like a peri bottle like this, um, then you can just use the wipes and they fit into his fanny pack, which is right here. Pack the fanny pack, have his umbrella, travel adapter, this is his backpack right here. This is what he's going to be using for Mina. This right here is the portable charger, which I also do need to move this to the hand carry because it cannot be in luggage. And you guys have seen this pair bottle. And then right up here is the toiletry bag. And I'm going to show you guys what I put into it. So starting off, we have Vaseline right here and then this is the anti-chafing stick and he can put this around his thighs um just so they don't get blistered because that's what it's supposed to prevent 
And then right here we have his deodorant. This is the unscented one, which is perfect because that's what we're going to need, especially when we're in Ihram. This is his. I'm going to buy mine from Medina. And then in here, the last thing is the towels that are just individually wrapped. And I just made him his own packet. And yeah, everything fits in here. So it's going to be perfect in Mina. We don't have to share anything. He's going to have his own bag and I'm going to have mine. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I need to pack anything else. Mm -hmm.